Definite battle for the knee now. Miles Dixon's going to have to defend against Carl Benson. Into Redgate. On board with Benson now. He's got a bit of a breathing space between himself and Gary Cooper. Behind, Gary Cooper behind him. And Gary's got himself a penalty as well. Again, a wide spread of penalties in this race. Look like Miles a little cautious coming through the old airpin. Back at the hill, Starkey's Bridge. Mount's curve is... I did wonder whether Benson was going to try and sling that one on the inside of McLean's. But no, decides against it. The more they're fighting, the more that's going to allow Gary Cooper and Alex Anderson behind them to catch them. There's the red Renault of Cooper. Who's got the fastest second? Well, we briefly held the fastest second two time. Look at this, the top four, top five actually in that shot. Just behind the uh, board was uh, Mark Holmes. As that's a move for the lead. Carl Benson banzai that one on the inside of the Fogger DS as that takes the lead from Lars Dixon. On board again with Jameson on the back of his four car train. Gary Cooper is going to size up a move on the inside for second place. Lars Dixon is actually early on the brakes. Gary Cooper can he get one that will slow down? Yes, he can. And Miss Jameson goes to follow him through. Little bit of a tap. And through to third. So Miles Dixon within three corners has gone from first to fourth. Goodness me. Oh, Alex Jameson launches his car through the greater curves. And that's always been his style. He's very much turned it, turned it up to 11 and danced with it. That's always been his style. Gary Cooper looking to try and make a move on Carl Benson for the lead. Doesn't make a move just yet. You know it's coming. Alex Jameson. There's a great camera car for us at the moment. There's lots of fighting going on further down the field, which I will check in with later on. But uh, Gary Cooper getting very fidgety behind Carl Benson for the lead. He's got the run. Here comes Jameson as well. Oh, I thought Jameson might try and mark, barge his way through, but no, he opts to stay behind Carl Benson. Carl, Gary Cooper takes the lead before they get to the Fogger DSs. And on this four-car train goes. Miles Dixon still hanging on to the back of it. And there goes Jameson looking for an inside manoeuvre on oh, Carl Benson. Benson's gone deep. You don't need to leave the door open for Jameson, but he manages to get the traction. He needs to keep Jameson at bay. Very nicely done. Back down the hill for Hollywood and Craner Curves. And Dixon's closing in as well, so he's not done from this battle either. Look how sideways Jameson gets in the sole rear-wheel drive entrance to this class, the BMW 320. Absolutely fantastic stuff. I want to look at the other battles going on, but I dare not look away from this great scrap. There's got Gary Cooper, Carl Benson, Alex Jameson and Miles Dixon within. There in the background of the shot, you can see Mark Holmes. Get the car around, Alex. There's lots of overtaking going on further down, I'm well aware. But I might risk having a little Alex thinking about the entire manoeuvre coming to the Foggy DSs, but no, does not commit to it. Now, it was the car ahead of him that was really putting the pressure on at Hockenheim for the first quarter of the race last time out at uh, in Germany, but it does look like uh, Alex Jameson's got the move done this time. Inside line through Redgate. Carl hasn't given up on it. You, uh, it's Jay Daniels on the uh, and Oli Sai uh, getting their name on the penalty board, but that's a, a nice clean move from Alex Jameson up into second position, really closing into the back of Gary Cooper. So Gary continues to lead the way. The top four separated by only a second, as they have been for the last few laps. Absolutely fantastic stuff, as that is Benson getting a little bit ragged as they come out of the cleans. Oh, the tail of that car does not want to behave itself. All that's doing is giving Jameson a bit of breathing space that, uh, well, I say he doesn't need. I mean, Alex Jameson doesn't, what I mean by that is he doesn't need any freebies. Pretty much uh, Alex Jameson's won every round we've seen him racing in the uh, virtual world. Too. Still, this four way battle continues. Cooper leads Jameson, leads Benson, leads Dixon. 
interesting that once again it's Gary Cooper, well, say like Gary Cooper keeping Alex Jameson at bay, but also, oh, that's Jameson getting a bit out of shape. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, Jameson doesn't have to make the move. Do we live with the penalties? Him and Miles Dixon don't have penalties in this three, in this four-way fight. So he could just stay there, and he may well be aware of that. He just has to kind of sit there and mind his own business. Oh, there's been a change back here. John Nobbs and Jay Daniels. They've lost Mark Holmes. He's now behind them. And Alex has got himself on the penalty border. Two second. Oh, that completely changes the, the complexity of the top four. Miles Dixon could still win if he just sits there. But looking up ahead, that's Sir Jameson and Cooper side by side. Who's going to be braver on the brakes? Gary Cooper! Oh, there's a nudge there as uh, that put Alex Jameson offline. Oh, Carl Benson got a tap from behind from Miles Dixon. Goodness me, that's that one penalty for Alex Jameson has basically given him the hurry up. I reckon Jameson was having to sit there as he's very sideways through red gauges. Cooper's got miles off the road. That is going to give him a penalty. I'm almost certain of it. So Miles Dixon really is in the in the pound seat now. John. Did their penalties change? Yeah, I thought they would. Gary Cooper now with a five second penalty. Jameson with a three second penalty. But interestingly, Benson right behind them with a single second. Side three wide almost coming into. Oh wow, how on earth did Carl Benson get through that? Here comes Dixon. Riley throws in the pits. That's going to change the penalty count again. I'm pretty sure of it. There goes Jameson, return to the racing line. We get on board with Carl Benson, side by side for Jameson and Cooper. Once again, Gary Cooper holds on to the lead, keeping Alex Jameson at bay. Two minutes, 45 to go. Absolutely amazing. So I know there's been battles through on the field. I've missed my whole heart to the apologies for them. But I'm sure you'd agree that this battle for the lead has been absolutely mesmerizing. Cooper continues to fend off Jameson. That's well, 114 includes penalties accrued, so they haven't been that slow. And Gary Cooper's just positioned his car perfectly where he needs it to be. But this is where he's going to be vulnerable. On the back straight, it didn't look like Benson had a good run through Coppice. Gary Cooper did. Alex Jameson, well, actually, all four of them had a fairly decent line. It looks like uh, eighth is being really hotly contested between. And uh, Nick Bailey, David Garside. Still no change in the top three. John Nobbs and uh, Jay Danson swap rounds. Another penalty for Gary Cooper and... Oh my goodness, there's penalties. Oh, John Nobbs! Goodness me, trying to make a move with Jay Daniels. That didn't really work at all. So the penalty is now six seconds to Gary Cooper. Three to Alex Jameson. None to Miles Dixon. And three to Carl Benson. David Garside with <laughs> trackside penalty as well, or track limit penalty. Oh, goodness me, Cooper and Jameson still side by side, and Cooper's been spun! Gary Cooper, no, oh, no, Gary Cooper's been spun for the lead, smashes into the wall. He's going to have to be careful with the rejoin, but that does allow Andy Jameson up into the lead. Oh, my goodness. But he's still got Miles Dixon on his tail. Well, 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 there might be words said about that one after the race. Jay Daniels caught uh, Gary Cooper as well, as Jay Daniels goes a bit off the road. He goes very off the road indeed, up at McLean's. So Cooper has uh, fallen foul of one of the M Sport flavoured BMWs. He's now got the other one. And now Miles Dixon is on the penalty board. A single second for him. Final lap here at Donington for race number two. But up front, Alex Jameson may well claim the checkered flag, but the penalties should well go, and they will indeed go to the advantage of Miles Dixon. So over the line first is going to be this man once again to Alex Jameson, but he will not take top honours. That is going to go to newcomer Miles Dixon.